Hello, hello, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to talk about how I took this Australian Japanese yen trade uh, under one hour time frame. Okay, for first first of all, it's starting at H4. It's gonna be a full breakdown of how I took this trade. So I find my key levels. First on the H4, this is my key level. As you can see, whenever the market comes to this level, it rejected. So it broke and now it retested. So I was expecting a push to the upside. And plus, we had some type of consolidation range on the H4. Right, we have a breakout and retest. So I was expecting the, the, uh, the continuation to the upside. So that's it on the H4. Now I drop to the, I'm gonna delete this for now. I drop to the one hour. So on the one hour, what I, what I was looking for is a structure in the one hour, right? So as, as you can see, I'm gonna draw structure. The market was in a consolidation range. Oh, let me check this out. Consolidation range for quite some time. The market exploded back into the consolidation zone and skyrocketed. So up to this point, I already knew that the market wants to go up to so make a new high, right? So that's that's what I'm expecting at the moment, right? So and we also since I already identified my last lot of structure, which is this point right here. That's my last level of structure. I'm gonna make it really good. Give me one second. This is the price I left for the market to the whole push. And this is my last high high. Right. This is just a fake out to this point, right? So the market tried to push to the upside, second uh, bottom about this high, but the next candle kind of goes bearish. So the market most likely is looking for the retracement. Up to this point, uh, I was looking for my my buying pattern because the market was already somewhere around here. So I start connecting dots. This the bullish flag connect this to the high with the low. And then connected my 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 low with the, my next low. So this is basically basically a bullish uh, bullish flag, right? So what I was expecting, what I said is like, okay, if the market is gonna continue to the upside, what I wanna see the market go to my key level and then make a completion of that flag. That's what I'm expecting, right? So um, to see the flag pattern, uh, we have a high market photo break, pump, pump, consolidation, explode. So I'm expecting the market to come retake these levels right here, go on before the continuation, right? And I also, so I already had two confluence. I have market structures bullish and I have bullish pattern. Now, if I want to add a third confluence, you can drag the FIBs from the low to the high. And we got exactly 61.8 retracement. So that's the golden zone, right? So that's what I did. Basically, whenever the market reached 61.8, uh, I placed my entry. Hold on. Let me take, bring that back. I placed my entry. It was right there. Right there, and my stop loss was 78, 78.6. I, I, I had like a very tight stop loss because um, according, because the safe stop loss is below 78. So it shouldn't be right there, right? That's that, that that's your safest. Not your safest, but according to the FIBS, the stop loss based on FIBS, uh, whenever the market reached 61.8, if you enter at 61.8, you stop loss, can be at between 78 and and 100 right but the safest stop loss will be like below the low over here 
but that's a huge stop loss. I didn't, I didn't want to do that because if I was right, the market was not going to go below my key level, my 61.8, and the flag pattern was complete up to this point. So all I wanted to do was buy. And I have my TP at 500. 500. 500. Why did I have my TP right there? Because look, whenever the market was on that level, the market got rejected. So the dot uh, is confluence, right? So I was like, I want to get out at, up to this point because because it was my safest point. So I got out. I got a. I got a. I got a risk reward of two point eight. So now what I'm expecting is we broke uh, the flag pattern, right? I'm expecting for the market to come and retest these levels right here. All right. So if if you want to drag your fibs from point A to point B for that point, it's confluent 61.9 with the major zone. As you can see, the market whenever it was in that level, it hold, broke, retest, try to broke again, got rejected, and then explode. So up to this point, no, and we took this high as well. So that's more confluence. Reach the 61.8, the market's gonna go straight to 78 to complete the flag pattern. That's what I'm looking for at the moment. So hey, this could be a good trade for the for next week. Now, if you're gonna have like a aggressive entry at that point, you're gonna have to put like let's say you execute it right there. Once the market reached that level, you're gonna have to put your stop loss below this low. It's 20 pips. It's good. You can do it. Uh, give me one second. Okay, we are back. So what, what I would say is if you wanna have an execution right there, you can do it. But your stop loss is gonna have to be um, below this low or if you're aggressive below uh, between 78 and 100%, which is right here, which is probably 15 pips. So now, since it's gonna be Monday, um, I don't know how that's gonna play out because the market might just slip straight to the key level again before sky broke. Just remember, the market may come and retest the trend line. So that's a possibility, right? So it's, it's actually 78.8. So the safest way is to put it below that low. Couple of pips, let's say that's 19 pips, probably 21 pips just to be safe, just to cover the spread. That's the aggressive entry. Now, if you wanna be safe, if you wanna take a safe trade, let the market do its thing. Cause look, whenever the market broke this level of, of support, the momentum and the, one hour time frame is bearish, right? So if you drop to the M15, the market changing. Oh, look at look at the beauty of this. And the M15, it tried to break, it broke, came and retest, and it's and it's falling. Now, you can uh, on the M15, you can wait for the market to come to this level, make a rejection, create a double top. And take the trade based on on, on a bearish period, I mean bullish variation candle, or you can wait for the market to create another level of resistance to break, retest, continuation. That way, your stop loss will be safe below here. If the market just in case comes all the way down here, retest, I'll be executing right there at this point. So that's going to be another good entry. If, but like I said, the safest way just to wait for the market to create a level of resistance, to break it, retest it in continuation, to have a safe, 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 safe uh, entry for buyers. All right? So whenever that happens, you're going to be tracking the momentum H1 train on the H1 time frame. What, what you want to see is the same thing happen, like, like over here, create a level of support. Break is going to retest, going to continue here, and same thing here. Wait for create level resistance to break, retest, and continuation. Simple as that. 
You know what I mean? That's 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 just the safe, safest way. If it doesn't play out, I mean, it is what it is. Go up to the uh, next trade. You know what I mean? So if we go to a four hour time frame, we have a strong bullish candle. So breaking one, two, three, three levels of resistance. So the momentum is there, you know, it's for a bullish momentum. So looks good, looks good, looks good. Let's see, let me take this one out. Let's go to the daily. The daily is resetting the key level, but you gotta keep in mind, it is a strong level of resistance whenever the market was at this point, got rejected so many times, as you can see. So, ooh, you gotta be careful with this. You gotta be careful, you gotta keep this thing in mind. Always look at the higher time frame to see what's going on. But I mean, it could happen, you know, it, it, it closed bullish, so we still might see that high before the melt. You know. So let's not overthinking and let's go for a one to two, one to three. And that's gonna be the goal for next week. So okay, so that's it. Now if you look at this way. This kind of looks like a head and shoulder. Huh. Okay, that's it. Uh, this is not a signal. That's just my opinion of what probably is going to happen, connecting, get, gathering some confluence with the momentum. So that's pretty much it. You know what I mean? Trade at your own risk. If it fails, it is what it is. So thank you for watching this video. On to the next one. See ya.